So the extinction to us is you know, recreating these phenotypes. So a gray wolf is the closest living relative of a dire wolf. They're genetically really similar, 99.5% similar. And phenotypically, their, their morphology is also similar, only dire wolves are larger, more muscular, and have these light colored coats and other, other things that we can see from the fossils. And so we targeted DNA sequence variants that we believe lead to those traits. And then we edited gray wolf cells to contain those dire wolf DNA variants. And then we cloned those cells and created our dire wolves. To de-extinct something would be to bring that evolutionary lineage back into existence. And that would cause a gap where it, that, that species was, there's a gap when it isn't, and now that species exists again. What they've done is use genetic engineering to make a gray wolf superficially, superficially resemble a dire wolf, or at least what we think dire wolves might have looked like, because we're not really sure what that is either. You take an egg cell that is ripe, ready to be fertilized, um, but not yet fertilized. It's similar to when a, a woman is going to go through IVF, where you take hormones and it makes a lot of egg cells ripen at the same time, and then you take them and then you fertilize them in addition to lab. But we're not fertilizing them. Instead, we're taking those ripe egg cells and we're taking out the genetic material that would have come from mom and we're putting in a whole cell that has mom's and dad's genetic material. That's our edited cell, right? Uh, and then the hand raising was really great. You know, we sort of looked at what we do with gray wolves. We beefed up the caloric values um, of the formula and we began putting them onto a, a puppy milk replacer or formula. And then quickly at, by eight weeks, they were weaning and being fed um, uh, whole solid foods. So they're getting everything from ground meats like beef and deer and horse meats all the way to now they're actually experiencing uh, whole prey. So they get to sort of chew on meat and bones and all of that. And then, you know, as they develop, they start showing you hunting instincts and stalking instincts. Um, what they will probably never learn is, right, what is the finishing move of how you kill a giant elk or a, a you know, big deer, something like that. Um, those are sort of those finely tuned social learning opportunities that these guys won't have.